All right, lads, BSBR here, Big Sip Beer Review. And today, we're going to look at classic Taiwan beer. Um, I've recently been reviewing Taiwan beers. If you haven't watched any of my videos or you're new to my channel, um, my mate Tom, he works all around the world, got me a massive bag of Taiwan beers to review. So I'm just working my way through them now. And today, we're going to look at the classic Taiwan beer. We're 4.5%. And we're in a 330 mil can. So um, yeah, that's all I can say because it's all in foreign. Not really much smell of foreign. Yeah, I've been impressed so far. I think I've reviewed four, that like maybe five, five or six. I think I've reviewed so far, and it haven't been a bad one yet. So, uh, I might have just cursed this review now. <laughs> Classic Taiwan beer. So, we are really pale in colour. With medium carbonations forming. Well, it was a one finger head, now the head's just lacing, just lacing the glass. And the aroma. A lot of citrus. Yeah, not a lot really, just quite a bit of citrus. Chin chin buddy, let's have a go. Cheers Tom. I've had nothing. Absolute no taste. <sighs> that is as bland, the most blandest lager I've ever tasted in my life. Um, thin mouthfeel, thin watery mouthfeel gone dead now absolutely flat as a pancake now um thin watery mouthfeel um the ever so slight multi finish did did curse this review right at the start i said they've all been good so far it's hardly any smell i'm gonna spin see if i can pick anything up now pour it back to life a little bit Still a little bit of citrus on the aroma. Then you've got this thin, watery mouthfeel. Can hardly tell it's a lager, really. Then you've got a slight malty finish. Uh, this is a bad one, this is. Let's have a little look at the big sip bolt on ability. Not much left, the bolt. Oh yeah, hardly anything to this classic Taiwan beer. The gold medal, I found it absolutely 10 times better than that. But positives of this, if you come home from work and <laughs> you're gasping for a beer and that's in the fridge, you're just gonna go and it'll be gone in seconds. Um, there's seriously nothing to it. A slight bit of malt finish, but you've got to dig around for that. And hardly any aroma. So, sorry Tom, <laughs> um, well cheers Tom for this one, and I hope you didn't have, do you have three or four weeks in Taiwan, I hope you weren't sipping after the four weeks, because oh, there's a lot better choice than that, surely, well there is, I've, I've, I've tasted some of them, yeah me and Tom are just going to have a, an afternoon in Tiny Rebel, um, I haven't really seen him since he came back from Taiwan, dropped the beers off and run at the pub, I haven't seen him, so we're going to have a, an afternoon in Tiny Rebel, <laughs> basically we're going to go now in about an hour. Um, for back to the Taiwan classic Taiwan beer, um, very very bland. Probably the blandest lager I've ever tasted. Um, not much to it. At, well, nothing to it at all. Got to give it a big sip rate. I'm going to give it 
a three out of ten. Um, the reason I'm going to give it a three out of ten is because it's not horrible because there's nothing, there's no taste to make it an horrible taste in your mouth. Just gone in seconds. Um, you could probably chug a lot of it, but then um, just chugging a tasteless swill, really. Well, a three out of ten for me. Not the worst lager I've had because you can guess some lagers that are absolutely vile. Um, there's loads of flavour to them, but the flavours are vile. So it's not the worst lager I've ever tasted, but it's just nothing to it. Very, very bland. Cheers, lads. Cheers, Tom. More reviews to come on a future date. Big sip.